In this video we are going to make continuous bias tape binding. For this project I'm using a little bit less than half a yard of fabric and I'm putting it on my table here and now I'm measuring the width. I think yeah it's a little bit less than half a yard. And now I'm starting off by cutting off a 45 degree angle at one end. So I'm folding over the fabric and I automatically have 45 degrees here. And I'm just making sure that it really is 45 degrees. I can see that here on my cutting mat. 45 degrees and now I'm pressing it down so I approximately know <laughs> where the 45 degree angle is. And now I can cut it with my rotary cutter and then I have the 45 degree angle here at the beginning. And I want the bias tape to be two inches wide. So I'm going to mark two inches wide strips on the fabric here. And I'm using just a regular lead pencil for that. So I will just mark two inches wide strips on the fabric and continue until I run out of fabric or until I get to the other end of the piece of fabric. I will fast forward this a little bit so it doesn't take too long to watch. And now that I've finished drawing all my two inch wide lines onto the fabric, I'm turning the fabric around and I'm using the corner in the back and align it with my first line here. So I do not align the two outer corners, I'm aligning the back corner with the first line. And now I'm going to pin it all together. So all the lines should align here. And it's going to look like a tube, a bit of a wonky tube because it's not like aligned in a perfect way, but in a bit of a wonky way. But don't worry, it'll all work out fine. And we're going to have a beautifully long strip of bias tape in the end. So this is where we're going to sew along. And I always have to make sure that I'm sewing it straight here so I have to move the fabric underneath the presser foot a little bit so that we get a nice and even seam of this wonky fabric tube. <laughs> Now that we've finished sewing, we can cut our strip. So I just start on one line here at one corner and then I'm just going to cut it with my pair of scissors. And I'm going to fast forward it a little bit <laughs> in a minute. And I just keep on cutting until I have a beautifully long bias tape binding strip. And now we're almost at the end and can soon find out how long we got from a little bit under half a yard of fabric. I'm really excited to find out. And here I am at the end and I can just snip it off the extra little bit here. And now we can measure it. And believe it or not, it came to just under 200 inches of fabric. That's fantastic. I would have never expected that. It's amazing. It's going to last me for a long time for a lot of projects. So now you could fold it in half and press it and use it as your binding for a quilt. Or you can open it up again and fold in the outer edges to the center fold and fold it again and press it 
and you could use this to hem seams or to for all kinds of other projects handbags doll clothes but since it is really time consuming to make this by hand i'm really happy that i have my simplicity bias tape maker that i can use here it comes with all the accessories you need to make bias tape really really easy easily I'm just putting up the guide bar now and here's the spindle and I'm going to wind the fabric strip onto the spindle very carefully and as evenly as possible for the best results and I'm nearly done and then I can put the spindle back onto the spindle holder and then I'm putting the fabric strip onto the bias tip here and I'm typically using a little needle to pull the fabric through here that can be a little bit fiddly and there we go and then I can easily pull it out at the front I need to pull it out a little bit so we can put it on the iron plate so now I can just lock the bias tip back in once we have the fabric pulled out a little bit and everything is nicely arranged <laughs> to make sure that we get an even bias tape strip. Now I put it onto the iron plate, put the cover on and then I can press start. Uh, first I make sure that everything is right, all put on cotton because this is a cotton fabric and here are all the buttons and now I can put it on cotton. <laughs> can you see and now we can press a run and the bias tape just gets done by itself the machine does it all for me it's so nice it folds it it irons it it rolls it out and all I need to do is gently hold on to it so it doesn't bunch up anywhere I don't even have to do that probably but I just want to make sure that it doesn't bunch up this is so much fun <laughs> and we're nearly at the end there we go I can turn off the machine now put everything back in place put it away I really like this machine I used to not like making bias tape myself at all but this is fun and so easy now i'm just winding it onto a spare piece of cardboard here that i have from one of the fat quarters that i just used to make sure that it is nicely stored and doesn't lose its corners and edges there we go i just pin it in place and then we're done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.